Begin by getting comfortable in your body, finding a position that feels good for you. Maybe it's sitting in a chair or on a cushion. Maybe you'd like to lie down. Feel free to do whatever would make your body comfortable. Very important element in these heart-centered practices, establishing comfort in the body. And notice if there's any tension anywhere in your body, anywhere that your muscles are tight. And gently invite those places if you find them to relax, to loosen, to let go. They may or may not be able to, but you can invite them to do so. Relaxing the body. And if you'd like, if it feels good for you, you can invite a smile to your face. Just a simple, gentle, easy smile. Using that physical gesture to incline the mind towards happiness. And take in what your body feels like at this time, being comfortable and relaxed with a smile on your face. there's any pleasure or enjoyment in the body for many of these qualities. Notice them and really enjoy them. Savor even the smallest bit of pleasure that's present for you. Throughout this period, see if you can maintain these qualities, staying connected to them. If they diminish or fade, allow yourself to reestablish them. And without losing these qualities, begin to involve the mind. First, simply by saying kind words to yourself saying anything that would be supportive or reassuring or loving for you to hear from yourself. Anything is fine, but it might sound something like this. I love you so much. I'm so grateful to you for everything you do to take care of me. And I know how hard you're working how much you're learning and growing, and I'm so proud of you. Take the time to tell yourself anything that would be loving for you to hear.
again, if there's any enjoyment in this. If you feel that love from yourself, allow yourself to savor those sensations, the emotions that arise as you give yourself love in this way. You deserve this love. You're worthy of it. So soak it up and be nourished by it. And again, without losing that love, allow yourself to move on and begin to cultivate love for your easy to love person or animal, whoever that might be for you. It could be a friend or family member, small child or pet, anyone who's relatively easy for you to love. We have a generally simple, caring, friendly, loving relationship with who you feel warmly towards. Bring them to mind and see if there's some way that you can cultivate a sense of friendliness towards them, goodwill and well-wishing, genuinely wanting them to be happy. You might like to send them love by using phrases as you did for yourself just now. Maybe you're using images, imagining them being happy or recalling a memory you shared. Maybe you can directly access a feeling of love in your heart. However you choose to do it, Cultivate love for your easy to love person or animal. And again, if you notice that this brings up feelings of love, if there's any kind of warmth or happiness or joy that you can feel in your body, maybe around your face or your heart, dive straight into that. Allow yourself to explore and enjoy those feelings even if they're small. Sometimes these feelings start quite small, very small part of the body, very light, not very intense. But if you pay attention to them, they tend to grow both in size and intensity. And you can allow yourself to enjoy that.
before we move into the main technique. See if anything we've done so far can act as a kind of save point for you. If there was an especially pleasant experience you've had so far, perhaps connecting to comfort in the body or relaxation, smiling, saying loving, reassuring words to yourself, or cultivating love for your easy to love person or animal. If any of those stood out as pleasant and rewarding, just make a mental note of that so that you can return to that if need be. Setting that aside, begin to become aware of your breath. The inhale and the exhale. Feeling the sensations associated with breathing in your body. Bringing awareness into the body and the breath can often be a grounding, stabilizing, calming force in our experience. It's something that we'll need to explore compassion. If you find any qualities like that in your breath, calm or support, reassurance. Pay special attention to those qualities within the breath. Zooming in on where exactly you are experiencing those sensations. As if you were noticing a specific flavor of a dessert you particularly enjoyed. Ah, yes, I do like the honey and the baklava. That is very nice. Thank you. And imagine that as you inhale, you are taking in suffering as a black, tarry substance. And then as you exhale, you are transforming suffering wherever you find it into a white, healing light, a kind of blessing that you offer the world that returns to the source of the suffering that you're connected to. healing and purifying whatever pain there is there. As you feel your breathing, visualize this transformation, suffering into healing, darkness into light.
And this may or may not be available to you, but you might find this to be a beautiful, intimate, profound experience to connect deeply to suffering, to compassion for that suffering and transmuting that pain into healing. There may be a new kind of joy and peace in that. A new flavor of love for you to experience. If this love, this compassion is present for you, deeply take that in. Allow yourself to enjoy this wholesome quality that you're cultivating. Somehow, unexpectedly, miraculously finding joy and connection, even in suffering, by way of compassion. And here we reach a juncture where you can use your discernment to feel into what would be best for you. Of course, anything is fine. You know what's best for you. If this feels enjoyable or even slightly complicated, feel free to stay here or return to a simpler version of this, just paying attention to the breathing or cultivating love for your easy to love person or animal, saying reassuring things to yourself, cultivating a pleasurable, enjoyable experience in your body. Feel free to go in any of those directions. If this compassion isn't clicking for you or you're not enjoying it for any reason. Or it simply feels interesting. On the other hand, if you'd like, you can direct this compassion, this Tonglen, towards those who are suffering from war. Becoming aware of all who are suffering from strife and conflict on this planet at this time or in any other place or realm. Being aware that where there are beings, there may very well be conflict, disagreement, challenges, can manifest as war, violence, death and cruelty. You may feel called to direct this compassion towards that suffering. Whatever you decide is fine. There's no wrong answers. You know your own heart best.
Very good. Excellent work with that. Now, consider if there's some way that this love and compassion that you've cultivated might like to manifest some act of kindness that you could take in the near future that you feel called to. Do you notice anything like that arising in your heart? Lightly set the intention to do it in the near future. And as you're ready, at your own pace, you can come out of the meditation. <laughs> 